CEO of Stability AI, Imad Mustake, has left the building. There's a ton of fun stuff to read on the internet about this, so I want to take you through the events that led to this fateful day to try and unravel why we woke up to what seems surprising, but as you'll see, really is not, and what the future of Stable Diffusion 3 might look like now that the long-predicted sale of the company seems inevitable. In June 2023, no less than 30 sources, including his own employees, are on the record stating that Mr. Mustake misled investors investors and the public about partnership, his educational background, and his actual involvement in developing Stable Diffusion. My personal favorite anecdote is him hinting at incredible 80% discount on a magical supercomputer from Amazon before refusing to elaborate because the head of PR might get upset. And that was his own wife, by the way. All this, however, was quickly dismissed by the community as a dirty, dirty hit piece. After all, who cares about degrees? And Steve Jobs didn't develop the iPhone with a soldering iron on his own two hands now. Did he? Plus, that made Emad sad. What sort of people are you? A month later, a Stability co-founder files a civil lawsuit claiming that Mustake had tricked him into selling his shares for a paltry hundred bucks, when it was actually valued at a cool 150 million just five short months later. Now, that lawsuit became the catalyst for further allegations, including what the plaintiff called a pattern of misappropriating investors and company assets for personal use. Now, according to these allegations, the very relatable, very huggable, big oil hedge fund manager turned AI folk hero didn't really live in this very reasonable looking garden we'd seen, but actually in a lavish London apartment, had his kids in one of the London top private schools, and according to the claims, that was all investors' money, not his. The following month, we were treated to a string of high-profile departures. The VP of Engineering, the LLM lead, the head of research, the VP of R&D, the CEO, the chief of staff, and I could go on. In other words, this was looking more like the Red Wedding from Game of Thrones rather than the Care Bears Harmony Day festival we had been told about. By October 2023, the company was blowing through $8 million a month. But hey, don't worry about such earthly matters, as Mustaki himself expressed his amusement at the generative AI company's strange concept of focusing on revenue. I mean, why do you need revenue when you have an investor bubble, I suppose? Now, keep this in mind, because you're about to find out that Mustake really, really likes bubbles. November was a very, very bad month, and if anyone was left in the London office, they would have to do without the head of audio, the VP of comms, brand, creative, and social media, and the VP of applied machine learning. Yeah, the secret center must have really, really sucked. At this point, the community took a long inner look and realized with horror that Stability, the champions of open source, actually never released any open source model, but just open weights, which allows for the cool fine tune you find on Civit AI, but certainly not for a full training process. Panic ensued. Microsoft will come and save us, some said. After all, these guys are buying everything. No, Microsoft will come and kill us, other replied. After all, their strategy is to embrace, extend, and extinguish. But wait, everyone had missed one very important thing. You remember when I said that Emad had a totally normal bubble fetish that would be important later? Well, two days before the real authors of Stable Diffusion slammed the door, Mustake was busy courting the renders network. What is the renders network, you ask? Well, a picture is worth a thousand words. Yes, crypto, home of the bubble, Land of the Pyramids. Now, I can forgive a rather passive-aggressive tweet about still having a majority control of the voting shares, but this? And what's this Otoy thing? I did a bit of digging, and it turns out they're working on some commercial holographic video tech with marketing materials that reference the holodeck from Star Trek. Or I should say, worked because according to the community, that was vaporware. But they did have a nice bubble. And let's just say that Otoy tweets a lot about Beeple, and if you're not familiar, Beeple is a very rich person who sold an NFT for $69 million. Oh, and he sits on the board of the renders network, uh, of course. So maybe, just maybe, you're starting to understand something. Something I can't possibly say on this channel. But I'll tell you one thing I understood. Now I know why when you email their commercial department about licensing, there was never an answer. I could go on about not only has distributed AI been tried years ago, or how Stable Horde already exists today, or how there's some very well understood technical differences between something like, say, SETI at Home, a 20-year-old project that listens for alien signal and noise, versus training an AI model at scale. But this channel isn't about holodecks or finbros, but about open source, or I should say open weight, diffusion tech. 
Plus, it's not the first time that Stability AI thought about calling it a day. When Kotu Management, one of their lead investors, had enough of the circus and asked for Mostake to step down last October, they were already thinking about selling. Kohir was approached and so was Jasper. Fast forward six months and that sick burn rate must have really hurt the budget. Shan Shan Wong and Christian Laforte, the interim CEOs, have their job cut out for them. That is certain. There's a small window of opportunity for them to correct the course with so much much damage having already been done to the brand. As for us, it's normal of course to worry about a big bad company swooping in and putting a final end to our favorite tech, but I don't think it's going to happen. This tweet by the CEO of Hugging Face, a company that's six times better funded than Stability and actually well managed, brings me hope. Will Clément Delong open source SD3 properly this time? They certainly have the staff, the resources and enough guts to joke about it on Twitter. Only time will tell. As for Imad, I feel like he's in the place he always wanted to be, a bubble. No pesky investors to answer to? Well, just people like you and me are the investors here, but don't let that bother you, as there is no shortage of copium on the internet for you to inhale and believe that this time he will behave nicely and you too will benefit from the said bubble. Seriously though, I just feel terrible that it took dozens of researchers and talented staff to have to unceremoniously jump ship in the last year to get to this point, as they probably had win of what was going on and simply didn't want their tech to become yet another MLM scheme. Or maybe they just didn't like the jokey death threats from Imad. I'll see you in the next one and I hope going forward we collectively will be paying more attention to what's going on behind the scenes of our favorite tech stack. Thank you for listening and if you have any comment you know where to find me.